What's up, Alchemist? Welcome back in the channel. Today, we're here at some fun Python tips. Yesterday, I put out a little post on over on Game of Profiles talking about when you are a Python developer and you are unsure of what server to play on and through an end liberty. So I wanted to go through the code snippet and show you actually how to use this. Uh, this was a very cool randomizer to picking a random name. And you could just for character names, you just for the top 10 food items when you're going to a restaurant, you want to pick food because you're sitting down sometimes it's just like, oh God, I don't want what to pick. You can use this to pick your food before you even get to a restaurant so you know what you're going to eat and not spending 20 minutes looking at the menu. But let's jump into this and show you how to use this over in VS Code. I'm going to make a new code block because I'm using Jupyter Notebooks and we're going to go ahead and import our random module. Import random is really just saying, hey, Python, I want to use your built in random module that will randomize picking specific items through the code that I'm setting. We import that in. The next thing we want to do is actually make a variable that's going to be or a box a variable is considered a box, really. And inside that box, we're going we're to define it. We're going to say we want to make this a NA East server list. And now we have a box that is labeled NAE server list. And inside that box, we're literally gonna make a list of server names. And to make a list inside of Python, we're gonna make open and close square brackets. Every single item has to be around single or double quotes. I like to use single, just looks cleaner. Use single quotes and then the server names and then a comma. And you add every single item you can put here. All right, so now we have all server names added to our server list. The next thing we need to do is tell Python all right, now that you have this server list, I want you to pick a random choice from this list. So we'll make a new box called or new variable called pick and a East server. And inside of this little box or this variable, we're going to use the random function or module. Notice how that's gray because it's not being utilized yet. So anything that you import that's not being used always looks gray. The moment we call it in, we notice that they match each other and the and this turns white. That now we know that's being accessed and we can use it. The next thing we want to do is tell that the random module, we want to use its method called choice. And that method choice is just giving the random an extra set of instructions to say, I want you to choose from a specific element that's not empty and choose a random element from inside of it. So in this case, we're going to tell random that choice that we want to choose from the NAE server list. So we'll do NAE server list. We see it pops up. We can just click it. And now we're calling in this box that has a list of all our server names. We now can say, well, now that you're picking it, I need you to display it on the screen for me. So to do that, the most common thing way of doing that is print. And we'll say print pick NAE server. And this is literally going to go ahead and display a random choice on the screen down here for us. So we'll go ahead and run this. And if we notice, there is the random server that I picked for us. We are now playing on Carnix. And that's it. That is how you make a randomizer inside Python. Pretty simple, not too difficult. Uh, you can, like I said before, you can use pretty much anything. You could change this box name to food picker and list the top five type of meals you want to eat, either cooking or going to a restaurant and picking and take out the decision making. Because sometimes trying to pick food can be really annoying and difficult. This food's so delicious. But other than that, everyone, I hope you found this helpful. Make sure you slap that like button because it will help out push out this video to other Python developers, people who are learning Python, and maybe people who want to bring in Python into their gaming like this. Really found it helpful. Make sure you slap that subscribe button. It definitely helps with the channel. And I appreciate all of your support. It means a lot. Thank you all very much for watching this. And I will check you out in the next one. Peace out, everyone.